You know, you just mentioned Spence Crawford. Obviously, that fight ain't happening. But um, yep. but put your put your put your Heyman hat on real quick. What 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 do you do at one forty seven right now? You got Spence. I think you know. I don't know what's going on with Pacquiao and this Mikey Gar. I think he still has one fight left with PBC though. But you got Pacquiao, Spence coming off of the car accident. You got Danny Garcia floating around. Like what? Who fights who? Um, I think Spence has to come back from the injury and whatnot. Make Pacquiao and Garcia. Mm. Mm-hmm. An interesting style matchup. Make Pacquiao and Garcia. Mm-hmm. If Pacquiao can, uh, I guess, outwork him somehow. I don't know. You know, if you forty two years old, you outwork the younger guy. So I think Pacquiao combination fight you outwork him. But Danny is a very good timing fighter. Danny, Danny might be the best timing fighter in boxing. You know, mm-hmm. um, when he catches you coming, and Pacquiao does come in recklessly a lot. So I think it's a it's a nice style gel, nice style mesh. You know, I, I'd like to see that fight. So if you give me a fight to make at welterweight. I want to see Pacquiao and Danny Garcia. You like you like Danny's chances in that fight. A lot of people look, look at Danny. They don't. They don't like. They disregard the timing. Like, well, because Danny's Danny's style is hard to appreciate for people that aren't really really in boxing. Mm-hmm. You know, like his timing is so good. Yeah, and Pacquiao jumps in real recklessly. He didn't learn anything anything from the Marquez knockout. You know, he still jumped in just the same way. You know? mm-hmm. So, so you know, Danny, you see guys, you see what he does to guys that jump in like that. You know, you saw what he did to Amir Khan. You saw what he did with Eric Morales when he jumped in with the hook and then he knocked him out and hooked him with him. You know, like, Danny's a very, very good timing fighter. He dropped that dude a couple of times all based off time encounters like that, you know? So, you know, Pacquiao flies in, and if Danny mistimes him, probably he's on the other end of a, of a big combination, you know? But, man, if Danny times him, Pacquiao's on his ass, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And so it's, it's one of those fights where I, I think the level of success could be measured in both guys they can both have a certain level of success you know mm-hmm. and both guys are mentally strong which i love you know i love guys that are willing to kind of go into a fire a little bit and uh and and be willing to uh you know go through what they have to go through to win a fight you know and so i think it has all the ingredients to make a really good fight okay so you put you put pacquiao and danny garcia in the ring with each other what do you do i i, I take it you probably just want to get spencer tune up because of the car accident? Yeah, yeah I, I, I'd say get Spence like a, a, a bottom of the top 10 type of guy, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to name... No, go ahead. No, maybe give him a guy who... And I can't. I don't really have anybody in mind, but maybe <laughs> give him a guy who's trying to break through into the top 10. Yeah. Um, but but it's not made a name for himself yet, and maybe that guy has a chance to put up a good fight against Spence, even in a losing effort, and then remain in, remain in big fights. Kind of like they did with me with Cotto. You know, we're like... You kind of were looking for a guy who was good enough to to, to fight, but maybe you didn't see him to win, winning the fight. But then mm. let's see if he performs. And then if he does perform, you kind of have a new guy in the mix. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That, that's, that becomes a fun fight, you know? So, maybe, you know, okay, let's see. I, 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 this is going away from what I just said, because this guy is actually a little older. Mm-hmm. But a Victor Postal. Okay. Would be like a guy. And obviously, I just said a young guy, so obviously I'm contradicting myself. But a Victor Postal also kind of falls into that kind of kind of falls into that kind of that that kind of opponent as well you know where where you want to test out the waters for errol spence fans are going to hear you say that and say what the fuck is he talking about victor postal's fighting ramirez he fights in one four <laughs> uh, yeah yeah i mean if, if they were, are they coming back to make that fight that fight got signed 100 percent. yo well i mean it was supposed to but obviously it's yeah, postponed again now so long, but i used to spot victor postal that guy's six one yeah I don't know, you know if you delay all this a lot is he gonna fight ramirez true i don't know it Victor Pulse is a big welterweight man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I get what you're saying. That like that type of fighter, yeah, basically. Yeah, right. Who hasn't quite broken through? Maybe an ex world champion's faded, like obviously like a postal, or maybe a guy who hasn't quite broken through, or maybe a guy who is trying to break through and is looking promising, but you know he has he's not quite ready for it yet. But you make you give him a chance anyway to see if he can sink or swim. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got you got you got Spence in a tune up. You still got Keith Thurman floating out there. You still got Sean Porter floating out there. You match them up. You get them separate fights. Yeah, you know I wouldn't mind seeing a Porter and Thurman rematch. You yeah. know they're both coming off of uh, of losses. Um, I think that's actually a nice way to match that up. You no, know, now we're talking. Now we're kind of setting everybody up with a dance partner. You know, yeah, I think Porter Thurman two is a nice fight too. Yeah, nice fight as well. I think it's a good time to make it. That's what's up.